Hey guys, Tyler here at World of Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Windows 7 operating system. This is going to be a part three of our how to speed up Windows operating system. Uh, and today all you're going to need is a flash drive or pen drive or however you call it. I call it a flash drive. And you can get them around, say, your local Walmart for about $10 and get a 2 gig, maybe a 4 gig. Just depends on the brand. Uh, and in today's video, it really doesn't matter what the brand in brand is it's all about the size of the flash drive um, and what we're going to show you is how to set it up as a virtual RAM drive now some people may be asking um, okay if I use it as a virtual RAM will I be able to store files on it no so make sure that you're using a flash drive or you buy a flash drive that you can just dedicate straight to a virtual RAM now yes you can set up your hard drive space as a partial for virtual RAM and we'll have a future video on how to do that because that's something you can check into and it is handy if you don't have a flash drive or even if you do have a flash drive you can double the opportunity of increasing your performance now please note that by doing this your gaming performance will not change this is going to be mainly just for your multitasking uh, or your browsing or general use of your computer maybe viewing videos and such but this will not increase your gaming performance that's all graphics card related um, so I'm sorry if that's what you were hoping for anyway uh, let's go ahead and I have a flash drive thanks to our sponsor Super Anti Spyware uh, we're going to go ahead to plug in to our USB hub and as you can see I've already renamed the flash drive you don't have to do this it is not required um, and just to show you guys we'll open up my windows go to computer and as you can see right here uh, you know it needs to be empty make sure uh, when you get it you go ahead and open it sometimes they have pre-installed software on it go ahead and just delete everything it needs to be a clean uh, flash drive for this to work now it's not required to rename it at all I did this so I would know not to eject it from the computer to safely remove it or whatever um, and it's just so I know that that is one of my RAM drives that I will have I do plan on setting up probably multiple or several of these because it is helpful and I have several flash drives laying around that can come to great use now with that being said we'll go ahead and close out of this and as you can see here we automatically have our autoplay we can either open the files which we just did by going through our uh, start menu going to computers into the RAM drive which is M uh, but in this instance we need to click on speed up my system now yes a lot of you may have noticed this in the past before and just disregarded it but this is something to check into now um, depending on the flash drive I had a my portable HD it's really a flash drive but it's a 4 gig and it's not compatible and if it wasn't compatible it would say this device is not compatible for ready boost so unfortunately I can't use that um, but anyways what we need to do as you can see is by default do not use this device which means that you'll be able to store files on this at this moment but we want to dedicate this device for ready boost so click on this and by doing this, it's going ahead. It's going to go ahead and max out the amount of megabytes it can use. Um, and as you can see right here, while using the device, uh, while the device is being used for system speed, the reserve space will not be av available for file storage. Uh, it recommends at least reserving 867 megabytes for optimal performance and we're just going to go ahead and max it out because I only have a 1 gig. Now, I highly recommend that you buy uh, maybe a 2 gig or a 4 gig to do this. Uh, would not go lower than a 1 gig uh, flash drive at all. I know some people use a 512 megabyte which would work but if you want the better performance I just go ahead and get a 1 gig at the least. So after you do this you just gotta click apply and it's gonna go ahead and configure it and it's already configured it so we're gonna click OK just approve we'll hit the Windows key go to our computer and there you can see our RAM drive M is currently packed for ready boost and obviously we can't open it but that shows you um, right there 5.73 megabytes free of 963 megabytes so uh, performance wise it would be faster and in some instance you may have to restart your computer uh, and others you may not if you like this video please thumbs up rate comment subscribe 
send us a question if you have questions I'll be more than glad to help you guys hopefully you enjoy this video we're trying to push forward to more Windows tutorials um, we also will be working on some new Ubuntu videos as well so hopefully you guys like this um, our next episode hopefully will be showing you how to use your hard drive for virtual RAM as well till then Tyler here at World of Tech and as we always say here at World of Tech get plugged in